Good morning, children. Welcome back to Bio Class. Before holidays, children, we have done Chapter Six, that is Life Processes. Let's start with the Chapter Seven, that is Control and Coordination. So, the first lecture of Control and Coordination will be Nervous System in Human Beings, and today's lecture is on Neuron and Neuromuscular Junction. Children, as you know, our nervous system is made up of nerve cells. and nerve cells are also known as neurons neurons are the structural and the functional units of nervous system and it is the longest cell of human body it consists of three parts cyton dendrites and axon the main part of the neuron is cell body called cyton it is bounded from outside by a simple cell membrane its cytoplasm is called neuroplasm a distinct nucleus is also present in cyton Dendrites. These are the highly branched, small projections arising from cyton. These are one to many in number. They conduct impulses towards the cyton, hence called afferent processes. The third part is axon, which is long process arising from cyton. It may be microscopic to one meter in length. The axon carries impulses away from the cyton, hence called the efferent processes. An axon of a neuron covered by one or two sheets is called nerve fiber. This slide shows neuromuscular junction. Children, all information from our environment is detected by the specialized tips of some nerve cells. These receptors are usually located in our sense organs, such as in our ear, the nose, and the tongue. This information acquired at the end of the dendritic tip of a nerve cell. set off a chemical reaction that creates an electrical impulse this impulse travels from the dendroid to the cell body and then along the axon to its end at the end of the axon the electrical impulse sets off the release of some chemicals these chemicals cross the gap this gap is known as synapse and start a similar electrical impulse in a dendritic of the next neuron This is a general scheme of how nerve impulses travel in our body. A similar synapse finally allows delivery of such impulses from neurons to other cells such as muscle cells or gland. So this is all about the neuromuscular junction. So this is all about the today's lecture. Tomorrow we will be talking about reflex arc.